Okay, in this video tutorial, we're going to put together our autumn lantern, and I'm going to begin by assembling the base of the lantern. And we're going to take this piece and, as always, begin by folding at the score lines to get everything nice and trained and ready. Okay, so this is going to go together pretty quickly, actually. It's a very simple piece. I think the most, uh, most time-consuming thing is going to be dependent on how much detail you want to add to the leaves. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and begin by taking that little triangular tab and gluing it to the little rectangle right next to it. So we're just going to pop some glue on this tab and connect it right there. And I'm just placing it flat on my table to use that as leverage so I can push down from the inside. And that just helps me get a nice grip on everything. Okay, so we've got two more to do. Just get a nice coat of glue on that tab. Place it down on your table and get it nice and aligned and push down. And kind of take a look to make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. Okay, so far so good. Base is very simple to construct. It goes fairly quickly. These are going to be pretty easy to, uh, to mass produce, say if you're making these as centerpieces for a wedding or something like that. Um, it's really not too bad as far as the assembly is concerned. So, once we have that all in place, we have two of these pieces here, one with the letter L on it, one without, and that is a little liner piece. So we're gonna stick the liner piece inside and I'm gonna put glue on these tabs here. And really, this piece doesn't need a liner, so to speak, to help us with assembly. Um, this liner that we're adding is strictly to double up the bottom because that candle that we're putting in there, um, it's one of those specialty candles that looks like it flickers. Um, we have the exact model and size with the dimensions listed on the supply list. So I'm gonna fold these in now and I'm gonna flip this over and just push down from the inside. And again, this is just to strengthen our bottom. Just run your finger along the inside there to get that down. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And then we can go ahead and close off the bottom. I'm gonna put a nice line of glue right in the center, right throughout there. And then I'm also going to very carefully put a little line towards the edge. We want to make sure that we get it nice and seamless right up to the edge so it looks nice and clean and polished. Okay, just like that. And go ahead, texture side up if you're using AC cardstock. Just close that off. You may need to kind of shimmy the edges in a little bit. Okay, so take your time with that. All right, so there is that. Now we have four of these pieces that are going to get glued right onto the side. You wanna glue those right in the center so there's a nice border going all the way around it. Um, we put some little uh, embellishments right in the middle. Um, I think they're from Jolie's Boutique. Got those at Michael's, um, just to kind of add a little more oomph to them. Okay, and now we've got this piece here, and what we're gonna do is we are just going to, pretty much like the last piece, just bend these in place and glue these triangular tabs to their neighbors. And what this is gonna do is it's going to provide a little bit of reinforcement and support 
when you put the actual top of the lantern on so that it doesn't move around. Okay, so we're just gonna glue that to its neighbor. I'm gonna put it down on my table to give me a little extra leverage. And be careful with this. You don't wanna to use too much glue. This one is gonna be showing. So we wanna do our, our best to not make a mess with the glue on this piece. And with the glue, sometimes less is more. So do your best. As you can see, when you put that glue in there and you push down, it does kind of ooze outward. So do your best to kind of get it in the center. And then when you push down, try to do some damage control if the glue does kind of ooze out. There we go. And I've got one more. Go ahead and put glue on that. And just get that glued into place. I'm gonna push down, use my table. And again, doing some damage control there. Okay, so with this piece, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on this side here. And I'm just gonna glue that right over the other circle for the base. Okay, and again, like I said, this is simply just to hold the top part of the lantern in place. And there's a hole in there, obviously, because we need the candle to sit inside the base. So kind of do like an eagle eye, um, an eagle eyes view over the base and try to center that to the best of your ability. And just kind of push down or grab your fingers and sandwich these two pieces together. There we go, just like that. And as you can see, the lantern's gonna sit right on there like that. Okay, so our base is pretty much constructed. Yours is gonna have the panels on there. And just make sure that you give this enough time to set, um, get enough glue on there to get this part on there. Okay, so base is pretty much done. We still need to do the leaves, but I will leave that for last, okay? And what we're gonna do is we are going to grab these four pieces here, okay? And just kind of line them up so that the tabs are pointing in the same direction. You've got this little panel piece, okay? You're gonna have four of these. I only have the one because I don't need to show you this process four times. So what you wanna do is apply glue to the back of this panel and you're gonna get this glued onto the main structure of the bottom portion of your lantern. Okay, so get your glue on there and do your best to center this. Make sure there's a nice border all the way around, just like that, and get that in place. So you're gonna repeat that process three more times on the rest of these structural pieces and then we're going to go ahead and get our tabs ready here and by folding them it's a lot easier to fold them now that they're flat than they will be say when you start constructing this so you want to go ahead and make sure you do that get all these nice and folded and we're going to start assembling the bottom of the structure here and we're going to do that by simply connecting them together using this tab here. So I'm gonna get a nice line of glue in the middle and maybe a smaller one towards the edge so that everything looks nice and seamless. And then you just wanna do your best to get everything nice and aligned. And you wanna butt this piece up to the score line. And then what I like to do is kind of fold it and push down like that and just make sure that it's nice and flush and it almost matches up completely to where the one on the bottom disappears. And that way you know you've got a perfect fit. So I'm going to actually do two at a time like this and then connect them because you get better results that way. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna get this connected now. Do your best to get that matched up. Right up against that score line. Okay, let it, let it get its initial grip, and then you can fold it in half on top of itself. 
rub off some of that excess glue. Okay, so we've got two halves connected. Now we're just gonna get this piece connected here. Same process. And get that glued into place. As you can see, this thing goes together fairly easily. Okay, now it may be a little more difficult to fold this one. That's not too bad. Okay, let that hold. Great. All right. And we're not gonna connect it just yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these top parts here and we are going to get these glued into place. And again, you wanna go ahead and fold these tabs over while they're still flat. This is the top, this is the side. It's gonna get glued on just like that. So we're gonna put a nice line of glue on that tab and try to get some out near that score line so we get a nice flush seam, nice clean flush seam. Okay, we'll get that glued. Just hold that down and we're just gonna work our way over to the next one. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat this process three more times until we have all of those pieces connected on top. And then I will meet you back and we will get this thing put together. Okay, so we have the main, we have all four of these pieces kind of joined. And what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna get this glued to itself. So we wanna go ahead and put glue on this tab here. Just make sure you work your way out to the edge and towards that score line there. We'll go ahead and make sure that we've got it nice and butting up against that score line there. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I can kind of fold it like this a little bit just to make sure that I've got that nice and lined up. It's not gonna damage it. If anything, it's gonna make it really nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these in and we're gonna get them glued side by side here. And like I said, this thing goes together pretty easily. Actually, it looks very, uh, what's the word? Impressive, but it goes together real easy. So you just wanna kinda of connect the little spokes together by gluing them like I am right now. And you're just gonna move on over to the other side here and put glue on this tab. Work your way out to the edge to make sure that it's nice and seamless there. And just get that glued into place. You're gonna do a much better job of gluing because you're gonna take your time more. But even as I'm in my video tutorial mode, still doing a pretty darn good job and it's still gonna look awesome. So, um, but there's no need to rush through this. I want you to enjoy the process. It's, uh, it's a real fun project that goes together real easy and then it's gonna be the talk of, or at least one of the talks of your Thanksgiving dinner, I'm sure. So there you go, just get that glued into place like so. And if you get a little bit of glue on this as you're doing it, it's okay because the leaves that we put on there are gonna cover it up. Now, if you're adapting this for another occasion, of course you wanna be a little more careful and not get glue all over the place. But if you're making it for fall and you're gonna put those oak leaves on there, it's okay to make a little mistake here and there with the glue. It's not gonna make or break the project. So I'm at the last spoke here. And just like I said, I'm just doing my best to get everything nice and lined up. Okay, just hold that down, make sure it dries. And 
Uh, it may seem that this thing is a little, um, well, flimsy, I guess, but once you put the leaves up here, it really stiffens it up and, and adds reinforcement. It makes this a, a really sturdy piece. Okay, so there's our lantern. And we've got this little piece on the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find our little square. And all I'm gonna do is put glue on these four tabs. Just make sure that you get enough glue out to the edge too to make that nice and crisp and clean. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and put our little square on there. That's gonna be covered up by the little finial that we built but we did want to reinforce this and make sure that it held together well by adding this little piece. Okay, so that is that piece. All right, now let's go ahead and let's just put the finial together really quick. It's a very simple piece. Um, it's made up of this piece here. It's all one piece, so as usual, I wanna go ahead and fold everything at our score marks here. Okay. And this piece goes together very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab here and just glue it to its neighboring piece. And just hold that in place until it dries. You can put it on your table if you want to kind of give it a little more leverage and pressure so that glue really sticks. Okay, and again, you wanna make sure that you fold everything at the score lines here, because I didn't, and it kinda of is fighting itself. Now that I've done that, you can see that it's taking shape a lot easier, and there's less resistance, which makes gluing more efficient, makes the whole process easier. So just go ahead and get that glued to its neighbor. Okay, I need to do some glue damage control as you go. There we go. Okay, two more. Got this piece here. Come on, glue. There we go. Get that right in there. And get that glued into place. Hold that until it's nice and dry. Okay. And we've got one tab left. Now I've not given this ample time to dry, so I'm gonna be a little more patient here. Okay, we've got one tab left. So I'm gonna get my glue under there. Come on, glue. There we go. And we're gonna close it up. And actually, before we do, let's put one little dab of glue on that triangular tab there. So we just close that up. You can stick your finger in under here to hold this triangular tab in place. And you can actually get your finger up in there too to add a little pressure on that last tab, okay? But that is pretty much it for this. And then we can go ahead and Pull the tabs out just a tiny little bit, and you're gonna put glue on all of these. This doesn't need to be uh, perfect. It's gonna actually be hidden because we're gonna glue it to the top of our, our main lantern. And you wanna find your other square piece and just get that glued right to the bottom. Okay, and just hold that in place. So there's your finial. And we do have some decorative pieces that we did put on it. You're gonna have four of these pieces, okay? And you're gonna have four of these pieces here. And this actually has a score mark. So you're gonna fold that and you're gonna put glue on this entire piece here. And that is just gonna get glued dead center on your finial like so. You're gonna repeat that three times all the way around. And then you're gonna take this piece, which we actually did in a textured gold foil. You're welcome to do it in whatever color you want. And just pop some glue on this guy. There we go. 
and that goes dead center over the decorative piece that we just applied, like so. Okay, so you're gonna repeat that all the way around, okay? And then what we're gonna do, let's see if I can get this in focus. Actually, probably can't, but you're gonna put glue on the bottom of your finial and you're just going to glue it to the top. Okay, so you wanna get that in place now. And then after that, it's just a matter of putting our leaves on and our little bow, which I'll show you here in just a second. So there's our finial, let that dry. Okay, so let's take a look at our bow. The bow is very simple. It is just three little pieces. There's two bows, okay? And what we're gonna do is, actually I'm gonna take this and grip it like this and run it along the edge of my table to kind of give it a natural curve so that when I do bend this over, it doesn't, um, doesn't create a, um, a harsh seam, I guess. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to meet these up in the middle and glue it down. So what I'm gonna do is put a dab of glue right in the center and take these two pieces and just join them in the center, making sure that you've got them nice and aligned and just press and hold down until it sticks. And I kind of let that go a little too early. Let me add a little more glue there. They're just meeting in the center. And just hold down for a few seconds until it gets a nice grip. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take this little piece here and we are just going to wrap it around our little bow here. And we're just gonna wrap it around our little bow here so you can see how that works. And I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue right there and close it up and hold that until it's dry. Give it just a few seconds. So it should kind of look like that. And then we've got the other part of the bow here, which you can pop dot or you can glue. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a, a dab of glue right in the center and the bow is gonna end up looking something like this. Okay, so just hold that in place. And again, we added a little gem to the middle of the bow just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So you're gonna repeat this process twice, okay, to create two little bows, and those are gonna get glued onto actually right about here on your lantern. So just take a look at the photo for that. So all that's really left to do is um, put our leaves on our lantern. And the way that I did this was I took the base of the oak leaf and I just put glue on it and I put the base on first and then I put the other piece on top of it and I did do some inking with uh, okay so what you're gonna do is simply you've got a nice angled curve here and that's gonna go flush against the finial and the rest of it is just going to cover that little spoke. So you can use your fingers to glue that on there. Okay, there you go, just like that. So you're gonna repeat that three more times. And then here is the top of our oak leaf. And you're welcome to ink this if you'd like. I did, I used, um, I used some inks. I actually mentioned which ones in the supply list to kind of give that oak leaf, um, just a real natural look. And I actually Googled what oak leaves look like during the fall. And my favorite look was that little burnt look um, where th the tips of the leaves are kind of brown, probably from baking in the sun after all the chlorophyll is gone. Um, I really love that look. So we're just gonna take that and glue that over its friend to create the final version, okay? And now one th cool thing that you can do is, once this thing's nice and dry, you can take a dowel or a pen and just flare these 
flare the leaf ends out. You can curl some in, curl some out, bring it to life by, you know, curling these. I think it just adds so much more dimension and interest to the piece if you do that. Now you can see how, just in my studio here, how the light hits it in the various places depending on how you curve these leaves and it just brings it to life. And of course, inking definitely helps. If you take a look at the final photo, um, you'll see what I mean. So that's how that works. You're gonna repeat that with the other leaves. And as you can see, our lantern fits over that little base that we created, okay? And now really all that's left is to take and apply our maple leaves to the base Okay, and we'll talk about that here in a second. I do want to talk about this candle. Um, I've got a link to it. It's by Luminera. And it's really cool because, um, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that. It really looks like a real candle, um, but it's electronic. It's just, I don't know if there's like a little fan in there or, or what's happening to cause that thing to flicker. It's got a little light that projects on it. During the day, it's obvious that it's fake, but at night, um, some people can't even tell the difference or unless they know that you know, it's a fake candle. So, um, and we've made that, we made it fit perfectly in that base. So let's talk about, let's talk about the uh, maple leaf because that's really all that's left to finish this piece. Um, and you'll notice the maple leaf has some score lines, but they only go like halfway up. And that's because they, this piece needs to be, um, it needs to go on like this. And what we're gonna wanna do is take and bend and train the top part of this maple leaf back. You can also do it with these segments here. Just bend these back. And with layered leaves like this, you always wanna make sure that you're training these before you glue them because if you try to train them after everything's glued, they tend to want to um, come undone from each other. So do your best. You can always go in and do some touch-up work. You wanna fold this one at that score mark there. And then what we're gonna do is, at this point, you can go ahead, after you've done your inking, if you wanna do your inking, uh, again, um, I indicated which colors I used in the supply list to do my inking. I think we need to do a whole video on inking fall leaves. I think that would be a really cool video. Actually, I just, just kind of gave myself an idea. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of this maple leaf. And I'm gonna get that glued onto its friend here. Just make sure you put enough glue on there. I'm going kind of quick, because I just wanna show you how it works. Okay. and Basically, all that's left to do, once this is nice and dry, is just bend it here at the bottom. And I just put glue mostly on the stem part. And I noticed that if I go too heavy on the glue, because this is such a little area, it does tend to want to squirt out and that can potentially ruin, not ruin, just fudge up, I guess, the base. But what you're gonna do is just put about that much glue on this, uh, just the stem part. And you wanna really just push and hold that in place until it fully dries. And then that way, it almost looks like it wants to come off of the base. We just want it to kind of barely grip so that the bottom part of the leaf um, is also kind of away from the base to create some shadows and some more interest and dimension on this piece. So you kind of get the idea of how that's going to look. So there you go. You're going to repeat that process three more times around the bottom of your base and you are all done. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. For Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.
3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.